Whoa, welcome back. Hope you're doing good today. Today we got another one of the mountain house meals we're going to be trying. This one is the beef stew. We'll be getting into that right after this. All right, well, as you know, we've been trying some of these mountain house meals. This one's the beef stew. Uh, we haven't tried this yet. And uh, for starters, okay, this is, what is today? Today is May 14th, 2021. And the best buy date is October of 2050. Okay, these have came up right here. Oops, <laughs> right there. All right, 30 year guarantee. Anyway, uh, this contains uh, two servings and we'll just kind of run down I'll put it on the screen for you right down here uh, you can pause that if you want to stop and read that a little more uh, but let's go down the line here um, I'm gonna be just reading off the single serving okay so uh, total fats 10% saturated fat 5% Trans fat, zero. Uh, cholesterol, 5%. Sodium, 34%. Uh, total carbs is 9%. Daily fiber, 7%. Um, total sugars, well, it's in grams, two gram. Added sugars, 2%. Protein, 18%, vitamin D, zero, calcium, 4%, iron, 10%, potassium, 10%. All right, well, you know the, the spiel uh, to fixing this. Um, I'm not gonna read down the ingredients. I'm sorry, these are just cheap store-bought reading glasses. I don't have prescriptions, so uh, it's hard for me to read these things. I will tell you the first ingredient is potatoes. Um, of course, open package, tear it notch. Uh, remove the oxygen absorber. Carefully add one and three quarters cups or 14 fluid ounces. Now, if you wanted to just make half of this, uh, you would take out uh, one cup dry mix okay and then just add uh, seven seven ounces of water and then you can seal you know if you want to mix it up in a bowl pour one cup in there and seven ounces of water and then seal this back up and you have another meal for later um let's see carefully after you add the water carefully zip it closed wait five minutes stir um Reseal, let stand for another four minutes, stir and enjoy. Okay, now we came to the conclusion that for my waiting time, it seems like it takes a little bit longer, so we'll be waiting approximately seven minutes, stirring it, and then waiting another six or seven minutes. So let's take a look and see what it looks like in the package. Doesn't really look too but terribly bad. There we go. Anyway, I got the water on the stove going. Doesn't look like we're gonna be doing a whole lot of outdoors the next week and a half, so uh, we'll uh, we'll be finding a couple of things here. I got a couple other projects I've been working on. One is on. Uh, waterproofing matches so we'll have that one coming up sometime this week um they're predicting uh flash floods starting tomorrow all this week we're supposed to be getting rain so you know what i noticed though in this compared to a lot of the other things with meat in it 
Let me just pull it out. These are actually square chunks of meat instead of like in the biscuits and gravy and the what was the other one we just tried? I can't remember. But they had the the little pellets of meat. But this is actually square chunks of meat. I'll zoom in on that. You can see. Um, I can see carrots, peas, potato, meat. Um, that looks about it. Like I said, I, green peas. Corn. Did I read that right? Oh, corn starch. <laughs> Big difference. Anyway, we'll get back to you in just a minute as soon as that water's done heating up. All right, we got our boiling water. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, this is uh, 14 ounces of water. Seems like a lot of water. But we'll see how it turns out. I want to go ahead and take a quick picture of this so you can kind of see what it looks like before we seal this up. Anyway. Go ahead and take a look in there. Alright, we're going to seal this up. And then we're gonna wait, uh, let's see, it says to wait, what is it, five minutes? But we're gonna, we're gonna let it go for about seven. So we'll let that go for seven minutes, stir it back up. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, it's been seven minutes. Let's go ahead and open this up. Kind of take a look at it. Still looks pretty watery. But of course it's supposed to be stew, it's not supposed to be goulash. Smells good. All right. It smells real good. Well, we'll go ahead and let that sit for another, what is it, uh, it says four, so we'll let it go for six. And then we'll put some in our bowl there and take a look at it and try it out. All right, well, it's been another six minutes. Let's go ahead and open this up, see how it is. Oh, it looks good. Smells real good. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it all in there so I don't make a mess. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Smells good. I forgot a paper towel. Necessity, paper towel. You know, that looks really good, actually. I know. Let's see, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, being that close. Huh. Yeah. Well, 
helicopters have been flying over all day long. I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's give this a taste test. Well, let me first say that I can see a lot of peas, a lot of carrots, potato, meat. Let me see if I can just get a piece of the meat out. Mmm, piece of celery. Well, meat was still a little chewy. Really good flavor. I really like the flavor in it. And there are some pretty good sized pieces of meat. Well, for being a freeze dried meal. You can definitely taste the beef. That's really good. Everything reconstituted really well. The meat is a little bit chewy. The flavor is excellent. Uh, the peas and carrots reconstituted really well. I tell you, I haven't been dissatisfied with any of the uh, Mountain House stuff yet. Um, I mean, other than the fact that those other products using those pellet meat because they always seem they don't have <clears throat> excuse me in the biscuits and gravy and the uh, yeah breakfast skillet those pellets don't have the texture of actual meat like this here, this is little chunks of meat. Um, if they would use regular just ground meat instead of that pellet meat stuff, those meals would have been a lot better. Um, as far as this one goes, I'll tell you. It has a really good aroma to it. Texture is really good. Um, Flavor is good. I just wish they wouldn't use so much sodium. Now I know they use it par partly to keep the flavor and everybody likes salt and things like this. But what was it? 34% of your daily allowance and uh, Seven hundred and ninety milligrams per serving. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's quite a bit. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go down, hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, click that little bell, and then click all. And don't forget to comment down below. We're going to have a giveaway at the end of the month. I think we're going to give away two of those pins, those tactical pins, and uh, so comment on each video that I posted this month, that'll up your chance of winning, because I'm going to randomly take two different videos, and then the computer's going to generate, there's a random picker on the internet that will randomly pick a comment even if it's just to say hi click hi click down there say hi or whatever 
excuse me, and uh, will be uh, those will be sent out straight from Amazon. And I'm sorry to say, but if you live outside the continental U.S., I don't think I'll be able to do it for you because there's a lot of other shipping fees and stuff outside the continental U.S. So, anyway, thank you for stopping by. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my lunch. And, uh, yeah, give Mountain House a try. It's good stuff. So, until next time, stay prepared.